we're going to get into a new home. We're going to find a home that's a home. Uh, my name is John Sangaris. I am a software engineer and reserve deputy for Jasper County Sheriff's Office. And we lost our house in the tornado and we currently live in a fifth wheel. I'm Valida Sangaris and I have a social security disability firm and uh, we live here in Joplin, Missouri and currently living in an RV. Um, our house has enough damage that it's kind of between the can we fix it or do we demolish it and start again. And so that's been really hard. If it was if it was an easy, let's just fix it, then we would have done that. But because of you know the insurance company and what they're trying to pay, it's it's making it hard. We can't just demolish the house and start again because what they've paid is so not enough to cover that avenue. But it still may be cheaper than actually fixing the house. So we were we were trying to hold out as long as possible. But I think we finally made the decision. We're going to go. We're going to go find another house. It's coming up on winter time, and winter time in an RV is not a is not a thing we want to do. So, at first we considered renting, but all the rentals were gone, and then something that would have cost normally say five or six hundred dollars is about eleven $1 hundred dollars, and then on top of that if you have no furniture because it all was waterlogged and it's gone. So then you have to consider you have no dishes, bedding, no bed, no couch. You have to replace all that furniture. And if you buy furniture for an apartment for six months, it's not going to go into a home or the size is going to be wrong. And so you really are in limbo. You truly are in limbo. So you do your best with what you have and hope and pray that your insurance company follows through with your policy. I, I guess had we stopped and thought, I don't. Th I wouldn't have expected us to be in the situation we're in now. I would have. I would expect to be in a house. We we even when it was happening, we didn't know it was a tornado. Like I remember looking at him, thinking we're. I mean, I knew we were going to die. I I knew we were going to die. We saw these cars going by. We saw people dead. A woman hit her car, and kept going. And I knew we were going to die. And when you see cars going by, I just knew at any second ours is it's going and you just in those seconds you just have to prepare yourself and you, you know your child's behind you and you're just thinking you know this is it so whatever just piece you quick. have to make you know you're just yeah. like my god just please make it so fast so my child's not going to be in pain because we're, we're dying this is it it's over so you don't you don't even think about anything else other than don't let my daughter see me with all this yuck you know, and, and when we die, just make it really fast. You can't even think about even two seconds beyond that. We're making it work. Um, you know, we, we have at least two rooms, our bedroom and then the other room, where we get at least a little bit of a break from having to, you know, watch our grandbaby. You know, she could go to sleep and stuff. So we have that little bit, but... Um, I think it's it's just something that right now we don't really have too many options, um, and we're we're a good team, so we can we pretty much make anything work. The things that I look forward to uh, is maybe having a refrigerator that you can shop for more than like one day at a time worth of items, or having a shower that has like hot water, or you can, you don't have to shave your legs and shampoo in the little sink in the kitchen and then run to the shower to like wash your body. Or you can have a toilet that like flushes like a real flush. Those are the things that I, I'm so excited and I just look so forward to and I can't wait. Or you can stretch in the morning and your elbow doesn't knock the ceiling. I mean, these are the things that I am so excited for. And when I get that, you know, here in the next, hopefully, three to six months, I am just going to be the most blessed and the most luckiest girl in Joplin. I tell you, I don't care if somebody else is living in a castle in Joplin. I will be the luckiest, most blessed woman in Joplin.